the Cryonier to level 4. What's going on guys, it's Mojo and today I'm bringing you another Boom Beach video. So today uh, we're going to just be clearing the map, trying to get the Cryonier's right uh, right here. We're going to be trying to get them going up to the next level. So. I did a little bit of map clearing already just so that the video wouldn't be super long. So <clears throat> we'll get right into it, taking on Ivanovich. Um, looks like he just has like one or two ice statues. I only see one right now, but not really looking too hard. So um, this is actually a pretty tough layout, but we'll take out the Doom Cannon with a couple of Barrage. <clears throat> And an artillery it looks like sweet and then I think we're gonna do an angled attack from like the left side so boom boom and then we'll try to take out this boom cannon as well definitely gonna be losing some troops here but that's all right do that and actually I'm gonna to try to take out this boom cannon as well so that I can flare up to the top here in a little bit and be safe so there we go that should pretty much do it oh, save that tank We'll do that. Critters to distract. So, <clears throat> Cryonears, mine are level 3 right now. We're going to try to get them to level 4. Um, I'm also really close to being back up to 1,000 VPs. Not that that is like a huge accomplishment anymore or anything. But, um, you know, considering that I've been like really inactive recently, um, it's not too shabby. So we'll get up to, I think, 998 once this map clearing is over. And this base is also going to cause some casualties. Thankfully, it's only level 61. So that'll help out quite a bit. But he's got a Doom Cannon as well as some boosted eyes. So not going to be a walk in the park by any means. Alright, rolling up on the beach. So what kind of strategies do you guys, uh, well, for one, what's your favorite strategy to use on the offense? And two, what would you like to see uh, here being used? Because I'm, you know, pretty well versed with all the strategies. The only thing is that if it involves Cryoneers, uh, you know, mine are not maxed yet. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and shock this boom cannon. Probably wasn't the best choice, but there weren't really too many threats at that time. So... Now we'll get the uh, boom cannon with the two regular cannons grouped up, and then we'll, uh, I think we'll just shock the same thing actually, and also put a critter box over there to distract that boom cannon while everything else is shocked. Oh, let's save this scorcher. We actually might not lose any troops. I don't know, it's going to be pretty close. What do you guys think? Oh, no. Lost a Scorcher. Oh, gonna lose another one, I think. Darn flamethrowers. <laughs> flamethrowers, I lose a lot of Scorchers, too. Like, if they're really low on health, I'll, like, you know, put a smoke screen on them, but they'll still be on fire and end up dying. And it's like huge pain in the butt. Um, so we got, I think we just got one more base to take on. And then also going to do stage 7 of terror here. And then uh, we should be able to do the Cryonera upgrade. Actually, I think we can afford it right now. But we'll wait till we're done clearing the map. Um, so this one, I don't know how much building health he has. Which is 
kind of a huge factor on this base to be honest so I'm actually gonna go back and scout it because there's uh, the reason is okay so he just has a masterpiece not, not boosted um, if it was a lot of building health you would want to focus your troops more instead of like spreading them out so that they can tear the buildings up a lot quicker uh, boom boom but since he only has the one masterpiece we can go ahead and spread them out and should not be a problem here so uh, taking out these back boom cannons and then I'll just use shock bombs for the rest of the the attack basically couldn't quite get that one I guess no that scorcher is gonna die <laughs> Today's the video of losing very few Scorchers, but every raid. No. Live. <laughs> Stop dying. I'm not made of money. I don't want to diamond all these troops up. looks like oh no 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 oh gosh like this is what I was talking about this scorcher might die my kit all right we saved him so down goes iron Callier 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 <laughs> and then finally we've got dr. terror state oh Let's go ahead and get this troop health 8% and then we'll build, I guess, a Dark Guardian. So, take on Terror Stage 7, the final frontier. Uh, we got, I think I'm going to pre-smoke the beach over there and then do this. Just so that my tanks don't go over there and get hit by that boom cannon, which I guess they're going to do, or the Scorchers are going to do anyway. So, oh well, change of plans. Uh, so, Terror Stage 7 is not really much of a threat this, this time around. I mean, mind you, I have my three masterpieces boosted, but still, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, oh, but back to other strategies. Um, the only reason, or the main reason I'm using Scorchers and Tanks primarily right now is just because they're really diamond efficient. Um, you know, if you used to follow my channel a long time ago and I used to post Boom Beach, you would know that I used to use Warriors all the time. And while I really loved using Warriors, another one of the main reasons that I liked using them for uh, making videos was just that they were very diamond efficient. I would only lose like, you know, 24 warriors or so uh, on average, like, you know, 16 to 24 ish warriors per attack. And that would only be like 30 diamonds or something, if I remember. So uh, that was the main reason I would always use warriors. And it's a similar thing with scorchers and tanks. If I, a lot of times, if I boost enough statues, I get a lot of flawlesses or, um, you know, very minimal casualties. So. That's kind of why I do that, but we're going to end the video here with the Cryonier to level 4. So, drop a like for getting the Cryonier's, uh, you know, going up another level on their way, uh, or on the road to maxing out. And make sure you leave a comment letting me know what kind of strategies you guys would like to see. Even if it does involve the Cryonier, because I can always keep it in my mind uh, for uh, when I do max them out. So, anyway guys. Until next time, thanks for watching, hope you have a great day, and peace out.